Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today we're going to talk about long face treatment with braces, how to manage long faces, vertical growth, down and backwards growth, delicate cephalic profiles with braces. I've done this exact same video, but we talked about same thing, but with Invisalign, two different things. So we're going to talk about things to keep in mind. Remember, braces fundamentally have extrusive mechanics. That means bites will generally open up. Um, short faces will generally become just by the way braces work a little bit longer. So braces are not great for long faces. A long face patient, I'm generally going to want to prefer to do Invisalign over braces. As a matter of fact, I might even decline doing braces on this patient. Um, just an aside, if you're offering both Invisalign and braces, this is one of those situations where it's medically better, in my opinion, to do Invisalign. So you need to be charging the same price because that's not fair to the patient if you have two different prices, in my opinion. I'm gonna keep saying in my opinion. But um, so one of, but you know, let's say there was a situation or let's say, what did I do before there was Invisalign <laughs> or before Invisalign was good? Let's put it that way, 10 years ago, how did I manage this? Well, 10 years ago, I would have still treated them with braces because Invisalign was not as good as it is now and not as predictable for hard cases. So I would do braces and maybe start with the top teeth. I mean, certainly the first thing I do with long cases is evaluate the airway, um, tonsils, uh, lingual tonsils, palatine tonsils, um, adenoids, and go get them out as needed, okay? A full OMT evaluation is also needed. This is all basic stuff. Taking a SAF, um, seeing if they're currently still growing or if they're done growing depends on their skeletal maturity, hand wrist x-ray, I mean, obviously, if this is an adult, they're done growing. We don't have to worry about that. The airways can make it worse. So any type of habits can still make it worse. It still can cause changes in growth. So we want to remove all those extrinsic variables from the situation, be it mouth breathing, um, tongue thrust, um, rhinitis, allergic rhinitis, um, issues with tonsils, issues with adenoids. Those all need to be fixed before you even get into the orthodontic situation. Then if we're doing the braces, we need to control the forces. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to use something called a gelb or a gelb and a posterior bite plate. Normally what I do is if I had an expander, if it was a kid, I would start with the expander on top and a gelb on the bottom. No braces yet because this is a fixed, this is a removable appliance. You can put fixed versions on expanders. You can put a fixed version in the mouth and glue it in. Often these removables don't get worn very much and they have to be worn all the time in order to work. So I'm not a huge fan of these. There's a few like younger kids I've used them on, like seven and eight year olds, because seven and eight year olds tend to be incredibly compliant with weird things in their mouth, even if they talk funny, because they think it's cool, especially if they're colorful and glittery and glow in the dark, you know, they'll wear weird things. They don't care. Um, they don't care if they talk funny, but it's, you know, it's the junior high and high school and adults where I know they're not gonna wear this. So you could build it into a fixed appliance and then they can't take it off. Um, problem is with those is that they tend to cause caries, you know, so you certainly wouldn't want it on for too long. And it's, it's not the funnest experience. So that's why I just prefer Invisalign, but just things to keep in mind whenever you have a long face, so many things you need to think about. Do not just rush into treatment. All right. Thanks so much.